Still alive. I wonder if God's helping me. Or just mocking me. I could probably come in the way I got out in the back of the station. Young Artie! Come on up! That's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Did you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew! How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier mache. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. I wouldn't have given them Percy and the others. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh my god. I lied my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the parade on Apple Home? How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have at the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well then. See you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck.
lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! There's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Well, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. Y you're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. Percy, I'd just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. I mean, never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Congratulations, you have been decontaminated. 
please proceed to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. Oh, I hope she's not watching and judging. garden district on you. Please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate or strawberry. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it! They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Life for noise? Please Pop a joy. The theater and take a seat. Excellent. Sit tight and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering. How can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> And don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. If you really 
realise you're wearing rags, should you? A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes, for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. Why does everything have eyes? That's right, player one. Just popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Player two, I'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes. Jack Constable. Constable, Constable, your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh God, the eyes. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington World. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. See! The eyes! The eyes!
May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. If I want him to bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. I've got to get to St. George's home, and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade, like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait, the old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. What's going on there? The Bobbies won't like it if I get too close to that. Lovely day for it. I wouldn't get too close to that. You're liable to get quite a shock. What's gone wrong here, Constable? What's gone wrong, sir, is a complete lack of preventative maintenance. Council workers don't test the poppers anymore. They don't even see them until something electronic goes tits up. Just lucky one of the lads wasn't in there when it decided to become a spanker. So you're waiting for a council worker? I'm not holding my breath. I hope one comes soon because I've got places to be. I wonder how I can get a boiler suit. This is for you. That's right kind of you.
I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do. There are more lingering ways to go. Sloshy. Good place for giant octopi. the switch again, I'm in business. Now I lay me down to sleep. Good. Now I can come back here with the minimum of fuss.
Doing this. 